Yes, Oma. We were going for this question. Yeah. So, very critical question actually. Uh, see, first of all, they want to be best in class in ERM. See, every company wants to have an effective uh, management. Some companies they are putting more emphasis on risk management, implementation. To achieve that goal, they want to identify the events that affect the implementation of strategy and achievement of objectives. Send the results. To me. Which of the following best reflects an analysis that would help in identification process? The review of accidents and operational measures. See. Event identification involves identifying potential events from internal or external sources affecting achievement of objectives, correct? Both the uh, sources we have to see. It includes distinguishing between events that represent risk, those representing opportunities and that and those that may be both. See, we have to see what gives us opportunity and what are uh, the what are the risks associated with those opportunities correct yeah so a review of accidents may help the company identify risk and opportunities however mm. review of operational measures would not aid the company in identifying these measures okay okay okay, okay. Be because like operational measures are not standard always but with with passage of time changes are required changes have to be done Okay. Second one, event identification involves identifying potential events from internal or external sources affecting achievement of objectives. It includes distinguishing between events that represent risks, those representing opportunities and those may be both a review of incidents and new market conditions. So you should always review the incidents and new market conditions. That would help the con company in identifying, uh, like, uh, like help company in the identification process as both of these contains events that will affect implementation strategy and achievement of objectives. So this is the option which we can say is the okay. best. Okay. Demand that it's variable interest rate on borrowing will increase significantly in the near future. Consequently, the entity hedged its variable rate by locking it in a fixed rate for the present period. According to the present type of An entity determined that its variable interest on borrowing, that means the interest which we have taken on floating rate, will increase yeah. significantly in the near future. Consequently, entity hedges variable interest by locking in a fixed rate for relevant period. So they wanted to fix some rate with the bank. According to Koso, this decision is which type of response to risk? Avoidance. How they are avoiding? They are they, they are ready to pay, na? Actually, if they don't borrow, that is avoiding. Okay. They already know it's a variable interest rate, na? Acceptance. Yeah, that means they shouldn't borrow. If they don't borrow, that's avoidance. Okay. Acceptance means they are not taking any action to alter risk, but they are okay. hedging here, na? Yeah. According to me, hedging or sharing can be something. But what happens in hedging, you know, when you hedge your risk, mm -hmm. that means you are you are kind of sharing. sharing transferring some portion of risk to another, to another party correct right so so here 
uh, like entity hedged, so they are sharing the risk here, correct? That's their response to risk. Correct, eh, na? Yeah. This one. पर वाला नहीं है सर इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम उस पर क्वेश्चन नहीं आ रहा नहीं दैट दैट्स व्हाट प्रॉब्लम व्हिच वन यू आर सेइंग हां शुड बी क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 1 आई थॉट यू मिस्ड आउट सो आई आस्क नो आई परपसफुली वेंट टू 17 सम थिंग्स आई एम लीविंग फॉर यू या actually i can say objective setting correct not sure sir it's a key oh component na <laughs> setting the objectives yeah those are all responses this is studying first thing is this what they'll do this is the res- re- retention will come as the response Yeah. yeah. This one. Which one? Okay. Risk profile. That means someone's risk profile. You are looking. That means you are looking how much risk they can take and. Uh, And what will be the performance taking that risk? Correct? Yeah. Yeah. Last question. So, in what is that every organization exists to? See, you know, every enter organization exists to what? Provide value for its stakeholders, na? No? achieve strategy in business objective see, you know, see see i can tell you one thing when you are speaking about organization you have to look in a broader sense some people will say maximize profits that is only from perspective of a business that yeah. is that is one so when you see a corporate organization maximizing profit can be one of the objectives but the overall thing is to provide value to stakeholders correct okay So, oh, rest of the questions, I think some eight questions are left over for you to do, uh, Suman. Some some ten questions, maybe ten to twelve questions. So you can you can try them. What do you say? Or you yes, want sir. like one more session? Or you want more ten minutes of session? I'm ready. No, I will read to tomorrow in the first half, and I will go through with this question. Yeah, I want some things to be done by you as well as a test. Okay. because if this is the only stuff we have if i finish everything then you will not be having any stuff to read correct okay do correct or wrong yeah 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 so do i need to read out all the things in the textbook ya fir kuch specific hai see i'm sharing a, i'm sharing a book with you glean text it is more crisp okay just a second This is Wiley's book. I'm giving you one more. I'm giving you this one. Uh, Gleam also. Okay.
so glean book you just read once it is more crisp okay that means more punch lines hawk is like a text you got my okay. point now yeah and then you solve these questions okay the leftover ones the next chapter will start long term financial management day after tomorrow okay suman till that time okay. you can continue with budgeting okay theek hai theek hai hello theek hai sir <clears throat> got it okay, sir okay thank you thank you